Okay, here we have the Tempest UAS uh, tandem helicopter for the NIST UAS competition. So here's all of our components. So we'll take a walk through here. So you can see it's twin three-bladed head. We've got the gas can, the main transmitter, and our secondary kill system. Uh, so as we do a walk through, we've got uh, the swash plate. Uh, we check all of our linkages in the pre-flight. It's a 120 degree uh, swash plate. As we come down, uh, it comes to our, our belt system. We check the tension on our belt. We've got the NIST payload, and that's got uh, the bolts holding that in, so it's good and firm. All right. As we come down, we've got it set up with six fuel tanks. However, we're only running uh, three at the moment, so you see that's all plumbed up. The belts come to our central drive system, um, which two gears running to a pinion clutch here. And that comes down to our engine. Uh, so here's our, our clutch, so we can start the engine without uh, running. And we've got our little micro generator right here, which charges the flight battery as we go. So, and as we move through the system here, we've got the, uh, for the micro generator, this is the control box and outputs the power to our flight battery. We've got a governor, which comes out and runs to a magnetic system, magnet uh, read, uh, a, a magnetic reader, which reads the, uh, the coil. And then we've got a uh, kill system here, which is hooked to this switch right here. So this switch has to be depressed, as well as having our uh, link up for our independent kill. And when the ignition is live, this will turn red. And without that, uh, and so you have two ways to kill the ignition in order to shut down the copter. The first is this ignition box. And the second is uh, this button. So you have an on copter uh, kill as well as a remote kill for it. Um, so this is the 900 megahertz radio, which is feeding the uh, signal for the, the kill system. Uh, as we come around, we've got our uh, GPS. We've got our orange cube flight controller. And then underneath, we've got a GoPro Hero 7, the 3-axis gimbal. It's wired up HDMI for a full HD video stream. And then uh, we're anticipating at least three hours of flight time and a GoPro battery will not support that. So we have um, uh, USB charging on the GoPro in order to charge it during flight so that we can get the uh, flight time we need. That HDMI comes down here to the HereLink Air Unit, which uh, is what, uh, sends all the HD video back to our transmitter. And that's going through our antennas, which are, we've got dual antennas on the skids here and here. As we come around for the RTK GPS, uh, we also have a second 900 megahertz uh, LoRa radio here, which receives the, uh, which receives the RTK inputs. And then that process that goes to this unit here, which then feeds into the Pixhawk. And let's zoom out, get a better view. So to get the copter going, really all you need to do is unfold the blades, which we've already done here. Hook up the gas can, fuel it, turn it on, and it's ready to go. I think that's a multiple. <laughs> 